Hello there, I'm Corel Painter Master Aaron Rutten, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about the new update to Corel Painter 2016 for both Windows and Mac. If you're a Mac user and you've been using Painter, you may know that there's been a lot of problems getting the two to work together, and so a lot of those problems have been fixed in this update. There's also been a couple of new features added to both PC and Mac. So let's take a look at how to get to this update. You'll wanna to go to painterartist.com, then you'll wanna look under support, patches and updates, then you'll want to select your product, which is Painter 16. And then you want to choose either the Windows version or the Mac version. I'm on Windows, so I'm going to download the Windows version. And then if you want a list of all the changes in this update, you can click here. So there's support for OS X El Capitan. That was giving a lot of people trouble, and now a lot of that stuff is fixed. Lag and performance issues have been fixed. Monitor screen no longer goes black when you exit split view mode from a Painter document. There's a new color profile available in both the Windows and Mac version. They've added a new default color profile of sRGB IEC 61966-2-1 black scaled. Basically what that means is it's going to look a little more modern in terms of the black looking black rather than kind of slightly off gray. You can learn more about that here with this link. If you're having any issues on Mac El Capitan, you can always use the new color profile. I recommend that you use the Adobe RGB 1998 color profile if you're doing digital painting because that's really the best profile to use in my opinion. And then here's a few bug fixes. The following actions no longer cause Painter 2016 to stop responding, such as opening a JPEG, creating a new layer, enabling pickup underlying color, and then trying to paint with dynamic speckle and pasto. On Mac OS, that's opening a RIF file that was created on Windows and contains fonts that are not supported on Mac, and collapsing shape layers, committing a transformation to a reference layer, and then there's some other changes. You can now hide visual tooltips. You can get to those through Edit Preferences General. You'll need to restart Painter for that to apply. You can also flip a selection horizontally or vertically by clicking Edit Transform, Flip Horizontal or Flip Vertical. That's really helpful. And they recommend that if you're gonna flip a shape, you use Edit Flip. Now any content that you add to a custom palette during multiple painter sessions is properly saved with the palette. You no longer need to remove spaces at the beginning of ABR variant file names before saving the variants. Those are the ABR Photoshop brushes that you can import. Thumbnails of RIF files display correctly on systems that run both Painter 2015 and Painter 2016. The Find More Brushes Online control in the brush selector now changes dramatically when new brush packs are available. Digital watercolor dynamic speckle variants now use the gel composite method by default. On Mac OS, launching Painter by opening a file no longer results in an error if the welcome screen is set to open on startup. So that's everything in the Painter 2016 update one. That'll get your Corel Painter running a lot more smoothly. So if you've been having a lot of crashes lately or any kind of issues, go ahead and apply this update. Even if Painter is working just fine, it's always good to update. I recommend that you keep all of your software up to date. So I'll just really quickly walk you through how to install this patch. You wanna download either the Windows or the Mac version. I've downloaded the Windows version. It's 75 megabytes, so it'll take a little bit of time to download. And you'll install this on top of your current installation of Corel Painter. So it's just going to patch what's already installed there. It's not going to reinstall anything. So your workspaces and your brushes should all be there and everything should remain the same. But just to be safe, you may wanna export your workspace and maybe export your brushes before patching, just to make sure that you have a safety backup. So I have the file downloaded here on my desktop. I'm going to double click on it to open it. I'm gonna click on run. This will be a very similar process on Mac. I accept the terms and license agreement. I update. Now you might ask yourself, why are there always these updates to software, not just Painter, but any software? It's because new computers come out, they have new hardware, you have new users with new workflows. There's always something new, and so you can never really make software that works for everybody. That's, that's pretty much impossible. There's never been a piece of software made that works on every single computer with every single piece of hardware in every single workflow the way that every single person wants it to. So it's a good thing that these companies are patching their software. That means that they're listening to people's problems and they're fixing them, and they're adding new functionality or or making things a little bit more optimized based on customer's input and input from people like me. So my update has been installed. I'm gonna click on finish, and then I'm gonna open Corel Painter, and now it's updated to the newest version. We can verify that here by going to help about Corel Painter, and you can see the version number is 15.1.
So let's look in the canvas, color management settings, and we have our new color profile option. Again, as I mentioned, I prefer the Adobe RGB 1998 color profile. You'll have to download that and install it, but that's pretty easy to do. We can also turn the tooltips on and off if we go to our preferences in general. We can make the tooltips text only rather than text and images. If you find there's way too much stuff popping up on your screen, you can disable it that way. And you're welcome to experiment with Painter and see whether or not it's working a lot better. Should be working much better, especially if you're on a Mac and you're using El Capitan. Feel free to comment down below and let me know what you think about the new patch. Let me know if it got Corel Painter running smoothly again. And if you're interested in learning how to master Corel Painter 2016, check out my Corel Painter 2016 Essentials course. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.